Hey there guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a game that many of you have been requesting. Team L Studios The Bus. And what's more exciting about playing a game itself? Well, optimizing your gameplay using hotkeys with the Elgato Stream Deck. And in this video, we'll walk you through setting up and using hotkeys in Stream Deck to enhance your experience in the bus. Now you may be asking what are hotkeys and why I use them. Hotkeys are a keyboard shortcut that triggers specific actions in a game or an application and they're a fantastic way to streamline your gameplay, making it more efficient and immersive. With the help of a Gato Stream Deck, you can assign these hotkeys to customizable buttons, giving you a quick access to essential commands without fumbling through different menus. So make sure that you have your Stream Deck software installed and your Stream Deck device connected and it's up to date. You want to open up your Stream Deck software and create a new profile dedicated to the bus. So what we're going to do is going to start by adding buttons for the game's main controls like the engine ignition, lights and horns. What we're going to do is click on an empty button here. If you go to the system and go to hotkey, pull this over. Now I know that looking left is going to be button three. You can write or click on the sign. Now it's waiting for me to put the, the, the key in. I push 4. And there's a hotkey there. Now I also know that to start the ignition. It's I. And if you look through your game you can see all the different functions that you can use so G is for our air conditioner so we'll go back over and we'll take a hockey <clears throat> pop it anywhere you want get some air common and we'll type or press G on the keyboard there you have it. Now you can go through and assign buttons for every part that you want. You can do the doors and um, looking left and right, which we just done. There's so many you can do. Um, that's for the East City bus, do it for each bus, or you can do uh, a general to, to help you. So you can set up buttons for driving related actions as well, such as accelerating, braking and turning signals. For turning signals, uh, you might you need multiple buttons for the left and the right signals. And all you got to do is assign the corresponding buttons to your Elgato Stream Deck. So it'd be E and Q. So one for E and another for Q. You can create buttons for changing camera views to get different perspectives while driving. Just assign the number for the different camera view. Um, you can do passenger interaction. You can arrange your Stream Deck buttons logically for easy access while playing. And you can also add custom icons to each button for better visual um, I'm also going to leave a link for custom icons which you can add um, to each button for better visual recognition from Icon City. Right, so now you can see that we're in the bus and we've got the buttons done. So we've got ignition. So if I push this, it's going to turn it. If I hold it. can also look left 
Look right. Turn on the aircon. So it's want me to start the board first. Why it's just There you go. So we can look left. Look right. And you can see that it's working as it should do. And there you have it folks, by using Stream Depth hotkeys you've unlocked a whole new level of control and convenience in the bus. No more searching through menus or struggling with complex keyboard combinations. Now if you found this video useful and helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more gaming tips and tutorials. Until next time, remember practice makes perfect, so get out there and master those hotkeys in the bus. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.